Hi, I'm Michael Ogawa, creator of CodeSwarm. This video is meant to be a companion to our paper, so it assumes some basic knowledge about our visualization technique. Due to the size limitation on videos, we cannot cover everything we wanted to. For the full story, please visit the CodeSwarm website to see the original videos. The story of Python begins with Guido Van Rossum, working alone in the late 1980s. He is Python's creator and benevolent dictator for life. A year later, two developers join him, but they stay on the periphery of the swarm. One of them, Jack Jansen, created MacPython. His activity stands out because his sphere of influence periodically converges and diverges with Guido's. Another person, Fred Drake, appears and commits mostly blue document files. Indeed, he will become the lead documenter of Python. This pattern of Guido being the clear central developer with specialists on the periphery continues. In the year 2000, the popularity of Python takes off. We see many new developers coming in as the project activity increases dramatically. And for the rest of the video, the project stays busy. The Eclipse project is vastly different than Python. Right away, there is a flurry of activity. Many developers working on many files at nearly a constant pace. This is possible because these people were already working on the same project before Eclipse was open sourced. We also see that, even amid the chaos, the Eclipse project is made of many components. There are many developers clustering around the center, yet they each have their own set of files. In other words, there is not one large set of files being worked on by everybody, but many small sets of files being worked on by individuals. This can be attributed to Eclipse's rich client platform, which facilitates modular design. Looking at the commit histogram, we see something not apparent in the Python video. Weekends and holidays. Weekends are the periodic gaps in the histogram occurring every seven days. The holidays can be seen at the end of December throughout the video. These breaks further reinforce the idea that Eclipse is developed with corporate sponsorship. This final video was not produced by us, but was made after we open-sourced CodeSwarm. Alex Evans, co-founder of Media Molecule, created this using data from their Little Big Planet source control repository. It is an example of closed source video game development and the software community adoption of CodeSwarm. At the beginning, there were only a handful of developers, mostly working on the blue and purple source code. About a year and a half later, art resources like textures, plans, and levels, in orange, green, and yellow, respectively, start to be committed. Audio, in red, also appears, but less frequently. Notice that the resources tend to be committed in large batches, rather than a few at a time. The pace of development quickens as they close in on their October 2008 release date. We hope that CodeSwarm benefits the information visualization community as much as it has the software community. Thank you for watching.